It is one of the most celebrated ships in the Royal Canadian Navy, but HMCS Oriel is not a frigate. The 91-year-old catch has just gone through a major refit, and after spending five months out of the water, Oriel is almost ready to go back to sea, just in time for her Diamond Jubilee. CTV's Louise Hartland was at the shipyard this afternoon with the Oriel's excited crew. At the ripe old age of 91, there is no mistaking the stature or grace of HMCS Oriel, and today is a big day for her and her 21-person crew. Everybody's excited. When you get your ship back, it's, uh, you know, it's a great, uh, great day in the Navy for us, so we're looking forward to getting her back, getting her fitting out, and get back to sea again. The sail training ship has been out of the water at Point Hope Marine since early January. Well, after 91 years of pounding to the Pacific Ocean, the, uh, the hull, you know, is taking a lot of abuse. There was a lot of rust. We had a couple of our watertight bulkheads that needed to be replaced. The, uh, the steel below the water needed to be replaced. The keel, the components of the self, the full keel was replaced from the rudder forward to three foot above the waterline. Her mast, rig, radar, and electronic navigation systems also got an overhaul. All old, all in need of some care and attention to make this boat seaworthy and safe for her passengers and crew. Centimeter by centimeter, the Oriole gets closer to her comfort zone. Ordinary seaman Ryan Anderson is part of the Oriole's crew, but has never stepped foot on her deck. I don't know much about what I'm going to be doing on it, but uh, there's a lot to learn and a lot of terminology that comes with, you know, being the, on, the, on the ship and being a part of a crew. Race start! From Swiftsures to Cadillac 360s, much of the Oriole's time is spent in the spotlight. Everybody on Vancouver Island knows Oriole. We don't, we don't need to, uh, we say we're going somewhere and Oriole's coming. We have a lot of people show up, but I think the last tall shifts we did, we had like 17 or 18,000 people on. We're ambassadors to the Navy and uh, we want to do our best and you know, I'm glad to see that people are like super excited to come on. Okay, lines off! And after a 40-minute crawl, HMCS Oriole is back where she belongs and almost ready to celebrate her Diamond Jubilee this summer, a legacy the Royal Canadian Navy hopes will continue for generations to come. Louise Hartland, CTV News, Victoria.